Wow, look who showed up today. Crazy, crazy, crazy. It's the Loot Crate Ninja Turtle Mirage set. Crazy. It's number three, I believe. Um, never thought I'd see the day of the show up. As you can see, the box is pretty dented. Um, hopefully the contents inside are not too bad. Um, let me open this up and do a little unboxing. We haven't done one of these in a long time. I think that's the only tape. Everything looks pretty good. Main reason for my purchase with this bad boy. This NECA Claw Shredder, one of the three Shredder clones from the Return to New York comic storyline of the original Mirage comics. Absolutely beautiful artwork by Kevin Eastman there. Love that so much. That is really cool. Uh, so loving this. And the uh, comic type filter used on the back on the pictures there is a nice touch. Very nice. Very glad NECA is stepping back into the comic book line regardless of my feelings of their choice of colors being used on some of the characters being released um i'm going to do a separate review of this at a later date uh so stay tuned for that or keep an eye out if you will uh, let's look and see what else we got here we got a utram fanny pack let's check this out <laughs> creepy peek it out of the box um, unlike most fans, I would probably actually wear this one because I, I really love the Mirage comic and I love the 80s Fred Wolf cartoon. Um, so everything NECA is doing is like right on top of everything I'm obsessed with. And it's a very nice print. It's very, uh, thick. I don't think I'd ever see myself wearing a fanny pack. Um, there's even little things printed on the side here. Little, like, robotic digital things. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. That's black on the inside there. Most people are probably going to think this is Krang, but uh, it is not Krang. It is an Utrom. Uh, even though it was an Utrom named Krang in the 2K3 series. Um, this is very cool, though. I like it. It's interesting. I didn't see a tag inside or anything saying uh, Loot Crater NECA. That's an interesting note. Uh, makes you wonder what took so long in this. Uh, the next item is a pin um, of Mirage. Well, I don't know who. I think Leo? Your mind first goes to Raphael because, <laughs> because it's red, but can't remember who this artwork is of in the in the comic um oh lord do i have i actually have one of the comics with me hold on hold on folks hold on let's see i know i'm doing an unboxing this is a uh, reprint uh that mirage did uh, i think it's on the one of the last pages here I could be wrong. I don't know. I don't know. Who the hell? What turtle is it, man? <laughs> oh, bear with me, folks. Bear with me. I know. I'm getting sidetracked here. Trying to figure out what the hell turtle this is. Hey, he doesn't have a weapon, so I don't know. And I don't have this artwork memorized, unlike the colors. Um... Let's see, let's see. Oh shit, where is it? I thought it was at the end of the book. As he's all cut up. Damn. Yeah. So I almost thought I almost thought it was this artwork of Raphael on the rooftop, but it's not. You can see it's it's different. It might be new. It might be a new piece of artwork drawn by Kevin. I thought it was original from like the last panel that I showed you guys. Um 
Because they're real cut up at the end there. They're not so cut up at the beginning of the comic. They're real cut up after the big battle with Shredder, everyone. See how they're like all cut up there? Yeah, none of them look like that picture though. So, oh, it is not from the first issue. So I'm going to say this must be something new. It was drawn by Kevin Eastman. Um, not sure though. Anyways, not too much in this crate, but that's okay. The main thing I was really wanting was the, uh, the figure by NECA. I mean, that's, I think, why most people buy these crates. Uh, here is a really cool t-shirt of black and white Raphael. And you don't see that too often. Um, even when they do Mirage artwork on t-shirts, uh, when they mass produce it and stuff in stores for a while they were doing stuff in Walmart um, And they all had their cartoon colors and stuff, you know, so that's really cool We actually get a black and white thing I'm going to reveal you know, I don't know What size I got I'm supposed to get a large because that's what size I am. Let's see if I'm lucky. Oh, I got a medium No, damn you Luke crate Damn you. How can you guys seriously? screw up these orders so fucking bad like every person ordered uh sizes above these and you sent them the size below man i'm probably not gonna fit in this i don't know anyone out there needs a medium and has a large i will definitely trade you beautiful shirt though just just absolutely disappointing man disappointing so this is all the stuff that came in this crate this mirage black and white raphael this colored utrom fanny pack this raphael mirage pin and this claw shredder by NECA. the gem of the loot crate number three Number two is supposed to be Armagon, but we have not received that one yet, so who the hell knows when that's coming. But you know what? I am happy that this showed up at all. You know what? I think that's great. All nonsense aside, glad it's coming. Some word from Loot Crate would have been nice, but uh, hey, they're just going to start shipping them out. It's okay by me, and uh, these will be the end of it for me. So I hope that... Uh, other fans will follow suit, and I hope that NECA is done with them as well, because it has made them look bad. Um, that's about it for this unboxing. Thanks for watching. Until next time, have a good one.